Hello, this is David Wormsey. This is the first in a series of videos I'm intended to make on Beaver Thema. And this first one is different to my usual videos in that I'm just talking about the very basics of what Thema is and what it can do. So I'm largely aiming this one at people who might be new to Beaver Builder, perhaps new to WordPress itself, and are struggling to understand what Thema is and how it fits in with the other products offered by Beaver Builder. And of course, it's one of these products that's not going to be for everyone. So to help with explaining what it does, I've set up a mock-up site. In fact, this is a site that I'm going to use as a starter point for any future sites where clients need products. And that's what we're doing with Thema in this. We're using it to display and lay out various products. Now, what I'm going to be doing as I go on through these videos is I'm going to duplicate this very basic site and start adding some more advanced features. So I'll do some sort and filter in. There'll be some pop-up inquiry forms for individual products. And I'm going to try out some of the new features as I learn them that are in Beaver Thema. So this is going to get more advanced as I go on. But for this first video, I hope this will help to explain what Thema does. Now, there is a big caveat. I'm not a professional educator or a video maker by any means. I'm just a community member doing my best to answer what I think are the questions out there. So I hope you find it useful. I'm going to get off camera now and we'll start talking about what Beaver Thema is. So let's go back to the Beaver Builder site and I was on the Beaver Thema landing page. And this brings me to the first point about Beaver Thema. It is a standalone product. It's not included in the three main packages that you find on the pricing page. So we'll take a look at this. And it's important to have bought one of these packages before considering Beaver Thema as Beaver Thema doesn't work on the Beaver Builder Lite version, the free version that is on the WordPress repository. So to start in the cheapest way, you would have needed to have bought the standard package, which includes the Page Builder plugin, and you would need then to bring your own theme. Or you could go for the Pro package, which has the plugin and the Beaver Builder theme, and also adds multi-site capability. Now, if you're new to WordPress, this is the ability to install WordPress and by adding a few lines of code, it is then able to have multiple sites on that one WordPress installed. Now, this is not what most people do, but if you did need that, regardless of the theme you were using, you would need the pro package so that the page builder plugin would work on multi-sites. And finally, we have the agency package, which has the plugin, the theme and also white labeling. Now with all of these, what you're buying is one year of updates and support. So after that year is up, you're invited to renew with a 40% discount. And the best way of looking at these packages that is they have an ongoing cost, which is 60% of the price that you see here. Of course, you don't need to renew and your site won't break, at least in the short to medium term. But of course, without those updates and because WordPress will continue to update and at the moment there's a lot more updates going on, there's a good chance in the long term future that things will start to break. Also in WordPress, of course, it's a good idea to keep up to date because of security issues. Now, there's never been a security problem with Beaver Builder, but that's not to say that hackers won't find something to exploit in the future. And it may not even be something that Beaver Builder have made themselves because the package contains some third party scripts as well. So it's generally a good idea to update. And of course, what you're paying for mostly is the support. So this is important to Beaver Builder. They really pride themselves on the support they provide that is quite holistic. So that's really where the costs are going. And I think this is why you need to consider whether you need theme or, or not, because it's another ongoing cost. Let's go back to the page there. And somewhere near the bottom is the price. It is $147 to get started. And of course, you get the 40% discount on renewal. 
Now, for someone like me who builds client websites, it's an absolute no-brainer to buy this. It saves me so much time, and as it's progressed, it allows me to do things that I just don't think I would have been able to do without learning a lot more stuff. And on top of that, it's allowed me to provide a level of control to my clients that I could have never offered before I got Beaver Thema. So the value to me is really high and I don't quibble at all with paying this on an ongoing basis. But of course, it's gonna depend for you if you are someone who has a single site and it doesn't change too much, you might not want to consider buying Thema because what Thema does really is it allows you to take the page builder into areas of a site which the theme usually takes care of and because WordPress is dynamic it's creating posts and it's displaying those on archive pages and a lot of the header and footer content can be dynamic these all have to be done via the theme and not by the page builder and what Thema does is allow you to take the page builder into those areas of the theme and take control of them. So if your site is unlikely to change or you don't make any good profit from your website, so you don't want that outlay, you probably want to invest more time in getting your theme looking the way it should do, either picking the right theme or maybe getting a developer in one time to set everything up so it does what you want it to do and looks how you want it to look. I imagine I would, even if I had a single site, I would imagine I would still go for Thema. The reason being is that I would like to update my site so it never looks jaded. I imagine I would want to, as I have before when I've had one site, wanted to change it depending on how visitors are using or that the business itself changes. So that ability to be able to move around things in the theme without code would be actually a saving to me. So it's up to you to make those kind of balances. Let me try and explain how it works and where the theme and where theme allows you to take over with some examples. But just before I do that, let me just say here, you can go to a demo of Thema. There's demos for all of the different products that Beaver Builder create. You only get into the back end though of the site and there's no examples with it. And it doesn't include some of the plugins that really help to make Thema very powerful. So what I've done is created my own live demo site, which I use for other videos and it has other plugins that Beaver Thema works well with. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the details, but what Beaver Thema does is allow you to change the dynamic content in plugins like WooCommerce and Easy Digital Downloads and the Events Calendar plugin. So their archive pages and single post pages that those plugins create, you can then control with Beaver Thema, and that's where its power is. But I'm going to just take you to this link here. This is where I'm going to add the content for this series of videos that's looking on building a product site. And here at the moment, I've just got these images to try and explain what a theme does for those who are quite new to WordPress. So a theme is the thing that generally takes care of the global styling of a WordPress site. It takes care of the typography and the colors. And it also takes care of headers and footers and sidebars. And sidebars contain WordPress widgets. These are dynamic things. Of course, it also dynamically creates the archive pages out of posts and also with things like 404 pages, these are dynamically created as well by WordPress. So when you're looking at a site, you can see here all these gray areas are the area that the theme is usually responsible for because most of this is dynamic. You're putting the content in the back end and displaying it from the front end. And your page builder usually operates in the content editor section of WordPress. So on a page, you would get an area like this. Of course, you wouldn't need Thema if you were just dealing with pages. If all you wanted to do is to use Beaver Builder to change your headers and your footers. There are some free plugins that will allow you to insert the page builder templates into those areas. 
And even if you didn't use those on many themes, including the Beaver Builder theme, you can disable your headers and footers on those pages and let your content area or page builder area take over the whole section here. That is not ideal because headers and footers generally contain some good markup that explains to search engines what they are and contains other things like schema markup. But you could do that. It's more when you've got more dynamic content as we're showing here where Thema can't reach. And let me just go back to one of the other major things about Beaver Thema and what it's doing. And it's mentioned here with field connections. So in WordPress, and I'll best show you this by just going to a post here, we have by default custom fields where you can enter a name and give it a value, some content, and have that output to the front end of your site dynamically. Now, this requires somebody to make a PHP template to be able to show this, so you need some real coding skills. But what Beaver Thema does, because it's replacing that dynamic content with templates, it allows you to easily display these kind of values through Beaver Builder modules themselves and lay them out and style them as you like. And that's where a lot of the power comes in. Now the default that's in WordPress, these custom fields you can create here, can be made so much more powerful with some other plugins like the Pods plugin and the Advanced Custom Fields plugin. This allows you to put all sorts of media content in the back end very easily and have those display through Beaver Builder modules. So that's some of the key power. Let's just go back to my images here because I just skipped over one of these. And one other feature that comes with Thema is that it allows you via Thema part or parts, it allows you to hook in templates very easily into the hookable areas of a theme. So many modern themes now have these areas where you could be inserting content generally above and below headers, above and below sidebars, above and below comments and footers. And it's probably worth me pointing you to the Beaver Thema knowledge base articles. I've got a tab open for those. In fact, let me just go back one here. We've got a number of articles which explain what Beaver Thema does. So worth checking those out. It also mentions here what are the supported themes with Beaver Thema. Now, I think Beaver Thema will work with almost all themes. It's just when it comes to being able to use those Thema parts, being able to put content into hookable areas, then you need them to be supported. And Beaver Thema supports the Beaver Builder theme, of course, Genesis, Generate Press, and Storefront by WooCommerce. And these following themes, which are all popular, have added their own support for Thema. So Astra, Ocean WP, Page Builder Framework are particularly popular. And I do know about these themes. Hestia, particularly good theme, I believe. So all of these are going to work with the Thema parts as well. So hopefully I've not lost you along the way. Let me just quickly take a look at the site that I'm going to be moving on to in future videos and just explain what's going here. So this is a basic install and I've been able to create my own custom post type called products and this creates a new dynamic area in WordPress like blog posts where I can control those with Thema. Now what I've done here, and I shall explain how I've set this up later, I've used a free plugin called Custom Post Type UI. So this allows you to create these. You can do it directly with code. There's something like Generate WP here where you set in what you want and it will generate code, which you can either add to your own plugin or you can add to your child themes PH functions PHP file. And there are other tools like pods, which is very popular, which create custom post types and also create custom fields as well. So that's what I've done here to create my products. If I go into the back end, you can see there's my products. So they're working very similar to posts, but I've decided what 
I'm going to keep on here. So what I've done now is I'm able to use what's in WordPress here. So featured image is what I've added to a single cake post here. So some content which I've put in the default editor. And obviously I've got my title here. That's about it. I've added a custom field here without a plugin. So I've called one price and in it I've given the value for each of these posts. So now I can create these posts and once I've got Beaver Thema installed, I've got these Thema layouts. Let me just take a look at those so you can see. So I've created some headers and footers with it. I've created some product archive pages and some singular post pages. Now there's an awful lot of options and I'll cover these later, but once you've created a template, you can then assign this to any location. So in the example of headers, let me go back to that because that might have been easier to explain. You could decide that you want to create a different header for every page, for every category of post or custom post type. And with some of the new stuff that's come into Thema and is in Alpha at the moment, we can set a multitude of conditions about when they're going to display as well. So there's an awful lot of power. And when it comes to something like headers, it does other things which traditionally themes have needed to do. So we can decide whether this header is going to be sticky. So it's always going to stick as you scroll down a page or whether it's going to overlay the content. So you often see this on modern sites, particularly on home pages where it'll have a big hero image and the logo and the navigation is over the top of that overlaying. So your header is overlaying the content. So it can do all of this stuff. I realize as I'm going on, there's an awful lot that I'm not going to be able to explain. But what I've done on this site is I've created my custom post site. Once I've created these, you can access them from the front here. So I can easily click into my footer and my header. If I'm on my product archive page, I can also change the look of this. So what the product archive page uses is the post module for laying out. So I can lay these out as grids as I have done here, or I could lay them down in a list view. But it also has more power, the post module, when you've got Beaver Thema, because it allows you to take those custom fields that you've created in the back of the post and actually present some of that information into this dynamic content as it's laid out. So there's a great deal of control and obviously you've got some styling options for how this looks. What I've also done, if I just come out of this, is I've styled up the single post pages as well as you could see. So here, let's go and look at that. I've assigned this to all posts, so it's generic and it's going to populate the dynamic content that's put in the back end here. So you can see my price is showing here. Now the power is here that I can lay out my display. So I'm using the photo module here and with those field connectors, I'm able to very easily connect all of this to the dynamic content, the post featured image in this case by just clicking on this button and selecting those options. I was able with field connectors to do the same with the post title. So it's going to dynamically bring that forward. Um, when you use Thema, you also get this extra content, a post content module, which is a, a variation. So it's context aware. It knows you're using Thema. So you can bring in the normal post content over here. So this could still be containing all the stuff you can put into the post editor, including images and stuff that you can do with WordPress by default. Let me just go to a product so we can see that. So it is that section is bringing in obviously the content area here. So I could add other types of media as well. Let's go over to the pricing one. And as you saw, I set up that price and value. And with this one, I've used the heading module just to demonstrate things. And I've put in some static content. So the word price is going to be there on all posts and my pound sign because I'm British. But also what I can do in here is I can go over to this section post custom fields. 
And rather than connect, which would take over the whole of the module, I can just insert the code and it'll ask me for a key, which is the name, the value that I placed in the back end, which was price. Once I put that in, uh, once I put price in there, it's going to generate for me this little short code, which has got here with the key of price. And then it's going to be able to dynamically display the values that I've put in to the back end of a post. So I hope this gives you a flavor for the power that is in Beaver Thema and where you might want to use it. Just allows you to get control over those dynamic areas and do things that previously you would have needed to spend a long time creating your own PHP templates that you would need to install in your theme to get this kind of control. Okay, I think that is enough for a first video. I do hope it was useful to someone. If you liked it, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube as it encourages me and also gives me some measure of how I'm doing. Also, please think about subscribing to the channel if you're interested in Beaver Builder and WordPress more generally. And I hope to see you again on another video. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.